Hello and welcome back to Pseudocode. If you are a new person to this channel, then please hang on. And if you are someone who has already been following my journey and you had been a follower or subscriber of this channel, then you can skip to the timestamps according to what you want to watch. But today we are actually going to go on a recap, uh, talk about what happened in the past five years of Pseudocode and also the way forward for the channel, some updates from my professional life and YouTube life and so on. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Pseudocode started uh, just five years ago. Today is 31st August uh, 2025, uh, the day that I'm recording this video. Uh, just five years ago, uh, we started uh, Pseudocode. People think that uh, it started because of COVID, uh, because a lot of channels started during COVID, but that's, that's not the case actually. What happened was that I was pursuing masters at that time in computing systems. And one of the subjects in my master's was education technology. And the final assignment of that uh, master subject was to build an online course, to find a gap uh, in one of the concepts or topics of software engineering, do some research on that gap, and then build a course to fill that gap. So that's what I exactly did. And um, uh, many people actually don't know, but uh, I interviewed approximately 150 software engineers from different uh, uh, levels of career to understand uh, where is the gap in their understanding of system design. So that's how uh, I built this course. I presented it to my professors and my fellow batchmates uh, uh, in my master's course. Uh, after looking at those videos and after looking at the course, one of them actually suggested that why don't you put this on YouTube? Uh, and at that time, my brother was also interested to do some editing. So uh, he said, okay, I will help you with the editing. I will make those videos a bit better. And that's how we ended up putting the System Design Primer playlist on YouTube. That's how it all started. After doing that, we realized that people do, there is a requirement for people who do want to understand things, complex things when they are broken, when they're broken down or they wanted to understand things using analogies or uh, in a simplified manner without using a lot of jargon or without using a lot of jumbled wor words which can make understanding of uh, complex concepts even more complicated. While I was doing this research, I actually found there are a lot of teaching methods according to which you can decide which method you want to use in order to teach any kind of uh, audience that that you are uh, th that is subscribing to your uh, education methods right whether you're teaching kids or you're teaching professionals or you're teaching college grads the, the teaching style changes and not everybody can have the same uh, teaching style right so the the first playlist is actually a combination of all of this all this research uh, understanding the needs of the learners as well as finding one particular teaching methods method to apply and uh, create the playlist out of it so that was the story of pseudocode when it started in 2020 coming back to my career or my professional career which is actually my full time job <laughs> pseudocode is is actually a side hustle or a side view you can say um I was a software development engineer too in 2020 when I joined Kareem uh, and uh, I was doing pseudocode at, but at the same time I was doing my full time job as well. I got to uh, software engineer 3 around 2 years later and then uh, after some time I did decide to try out the engineering manager track uh, in Kareem. So I started as an engineering manager in 2022 or starting of 2022 or something like that with a very small team uh, in, in Green. It was one of the teams in the e-commerce uh, department. Uh, I got to learn a lot about the uh, engineering manager track, which is very different from software engineering track. People think it's like a promotion, but it's not. It's like a lateral move. The skill set required for engineering management is completely different from the skills required for software engineering. I mean, you do require the skills of software engineering. That's like the core and then on the top of that that you require four more layers of different skill set which involves uh, looking after the well-being of people the delivery and the throughput of the teams the career tracks of different engineers in your team as well as dealing with multiple stakeholders sort of project management stakeholder management and so on and on definitely i liked that career path and i, I still like it so i invested a lot of time and energy into it uh, learning different uh, uh, learning different skills trying to make myself better at it and so on uh, and uh, last year i got promoted to senior engineering manager uh, and that just means a lot more responsibility a lot more teams and so on and i had been focusing a lot on uh, search uh, teams in past two years or so. Before we go into the details of the search teams, I uh, do want 
to take all of you a little back uh, in my professional career uh, even even further back than kareem <laughs> because it it will all it, it will all connect to what uh, what is going to happen to the channel in future so that's why i would like to give all of you a little bit of context uh, i had been uh, working uh, as a software engineer uh, since 2013 and uh, uh, back end engineering has always been my favorite or you know like the domain to be in but while doing all of that uh, my one of my previous employers they actually sent me for a machine learning uh, training uh, i think 6 or 7 years ago that was the first time when i came across fundamental concepts like neural networks uh, classifiers uh, building basic ml models and the fundamentals of uh, algebra and calculus that is required in machine learning systems uh, following that i did also do did a small nano degree uh, from udacity uh, in machine learning system because it was a new thing at that time and people people were very curious about it including myself so i did explore it a little bit uh, and then finally in masters also uh, even though my specialization was computing systems but we did have two or three subjects related to machine learning which try to teach you the fundamentals of ml systems right so all of that happened and then what happened in past two years with respect to my current work which is working in search teams and the and and the uh, the hype of ai as people say it uh, the, the term is a little bit uh, debatable we can talk about it at some later stage but with the advent of ai coming into uh, software engineering now in past two years uh, all the all the work that had been going on in data science world and the ml world has started uh, getting integrated with software engineering with uh, with with end tools like uh, chatbots or agents and so on right so it started the the line of uh, the line between software engineering and uh, data science or ai engineering is now blurring right in past two years i have seen how ai has actually made uh, a lot of its way into software engineering so software engineering is not same as it used to be Two years ago or three years ago. Similarly, AI and ML systems are not same as they used to be two or three years ago. Of course, because of the leaps that have been made into that domain, right? So, coming back to the point and coming back to the channel, uh, now uh, I think it will it will not uh, it it will not be fair for my audience and for all of you if I don't share my learnings with you or if I don't. Uh, go deep into these concepts and uh, and we don't talk about it so uh, i would be talking a lot more about uh, uh, the ml concepts the ai concepts how it is getting integrated with software engineering and how the field of software engineering is now uh, evolving and there are new roles coming up like ai engineers however i do want uh, all of you to have an input in this right so that is why uh, that brings me to the important question today uh, about which i talked in the in the starting of the video that uh, please let me know in comments whether you would like to continue watching more system design concept videos or you would like to focus more on the ai and ml concept videos which are useful in software engineering or you would like a mix of both of these uh, concepts and you would like to see a mix so you have three options a b c uh, just system design uh, just ml and ai and third a combination of both of them uh, of course i know the answer deep down <laughs> in my heart but i still would like to know your opinion because it matters a lot and with that i would say that uh, uh, i would uh, continue uh, uh, making videos uh, which can help learners understand upskill themselves which can help break down complex uh, concepts into simpler terms and help make your journey of learning easier but at the same time i am not going to make uh, boy wild promises like i am going to make two videos every week and so on uh, because as as i just told you that um, i have a full time job and a career to focus on which i uh, am doing uh, but at the same time i do have a lot of interest or you can say uh, i have always liked teaching i have always always liked it because that's how i used to learn it actually helps me as, as well so uh, my love for teaching and my dedication for teaching stays as it is so i will try to share my learnings uh, and skills as much as i can with all of you i will try to come back with more videos uh, more frequently than it is happening right now and uh, i would uh, require a lot of support from all of you uh, and i hope I, i'm sure i will i will get it so uh, let's see uh, how how we go on this journey don't forget to comment with one of the three choices that i have given to all of you uh, i i will be looking forward to read uh, comments from you and if you have any questions about the things that i have shared today please feel free to post the, them as well, those as well as comments and i will try and make sure that i answer those 
uh, uh, i will see all of you in the next video till then take care